you're not going to win this war with a casual attitude. Have you discovered that yet in America? I've been shocked at the level of anger and animosity toward the conservative views that most of us have. It's not enough anymore just to debate. We're going to try to destroy you. We don't care if you're innocent. It doesn't really matter to us. You don't believe what we believe. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do everything we can to take you out. The Kavanaugh hearings, I was there. doesn't matter that there's a due process thing we have in America. It really doesn't matter if there are flaws in the story. The bottom line is we don't like your, your ideology, so we're going to take you out. We're going to have to contend for what we believe in. We're going to have to struggle and fight, not physically, but in a spiritual level and at a, even a political level. The same word is used in 1 Timothy chapter 6. And this is used on a personal level. Paul told Timothy to fight the good fight of faith. And fight is agonizomai, epi agonizomai. He's saying, Timothy, there are forces here trying to take you out. There's an enemy trying to destroy you, your destiny, what I want to do at Ephesus, what I left you there to do. And you're not going to win this battle with a casual uh, Lord's Prayer. You're going to have to learn to fight. And you're going to have to fight this good fight of faith and lay hold of the eternal life that you, you've been given. Paul said in 2 Timothy 4, I have fought the good fight. And he uses the same word. They beat me, but I kept fighting. They stoned me, I kept fighting. I know what it's like to be beaten, rejected, prison, imprisoned, shipwrecked, but I've learned to lay hold and never give up. There's a guy, one of David's mighty men, that's one of my heroes, his name's Eleazar. He fought against the Philistines who had come to plunder and pillage, and there's only like three verses given to Eleazar in the whole Bible, but I'd be okay with three, wouldn't you, Dan? But it says he clung, he fought the battle and clung to his sword until his hand locked up and he couldn't let go of the sword. Like I said in one of my books, when he, when he could no longer hold on to or fight with his normal strength, he held on with his heart. And when the battle was over, they had to peel his hand off the sword. That's, what I, that's the way I want to live. When I know what's right, when I know what God wants to do, I want to be so determined to fight for what is right. And for what is mine spiritually, when the enemy opposes me. I want to learn to, to war in a way that When the battle's over, you may have to peel my hand off the sword, but I'll still be holding on. Very few Christians understand this mindset. Our attitude is mostly what mine was with the growths. Somebody help me. Anoint me with oil. Let's all get together on Sunday and Pray a nice little prayer and hope everything's okay. But there are just some battles that you're not going to win in life if you don't have this in you somewhere. There's another word that is connected to this one. And it's the word lay hold of 
It's another one of these um, interesting Greek words when you get to a certain form of it. Because the Greek word lambano means to take hold of. But when you put the prefix kata on lambano, you, you don't have lay hold of, you have seize. Mine. It's a mindset of aggression, determination. It's not like, it's not give us this day our daily bread. It's give me this, I have to have it. Sorry, I wake up some of you, but I should, I should have played the mic a little better. It's like ten times a day, by his stripes I am healed. Mine. He said he would do this if I laid hold. And I'm not going to stop until I get this healing. That's kata lambano. And it's in some very interesting passages. Philippians 3, I like this. Paul said, I'm pressing. I haven't achieved everything. I haven't accomplish everything God has called me to do yet but I'm pressing toward the mark that I might lay hold of that for which I was laid hold of but he didn't just say lambano he said kata lambano he said I'm pressing so that I can seize that for which he seized me Paul said he didn't just lay hold of me he, he seized me and I have the same mindset now that he, that he had when he, when he grabbed my life and rescued me from this journey that I was on that was so wrong and he just had to literally strike me blind for a few days and arrest me in my path and just grab me in his mercy he, he hurt me to do it and now he said I have the same attitude I'm a fighter he said I'm warring to seize that for which I was seized. He says in 1 Corinthians 9, I, I like this passage because Paul talks about, he uses the, the picture of an athlete, a boxer. And he said, You've got to be disciplined to be an athlete. And you've got to have a, you have to have a mindset. That I'm going to run this race or, or, or I'm going to box this opponent in such a way that I win. And when he gets to the runner analogy, he says, run in such a way that you win. But it's really a hard translation for the translators because it really is not the word win, it's the word katalambano. So it doesn't make sense to say run in such a way that you seize. But he's saying seize the prize. Run in such a way that you're leaning toward the finish line. If necessary, I'll run till I drop. But I'm going to give it everything I have, and I'm going to leave it all on the field. There are just times when casual Christianity is not right. There are, frankly, times when casual life is not right. Because life's going to try to take from you. It rains on the just and the unjust. Bad things happen to good people. And sometimes, if you're going to win in life, you just have to be a fighter. And your attitude needs to be, I'm not just going to reach out casually and grab this. I'm going to fight and if I don't win, I'll die fighting. 
And again, there are just a lot of people that don't understand this. And I hurt for them. Because sometimes I watch them and I realize no one has taught you how to fight. No one taught you how to seize, how to go for it, how to persevere. You don't know how to do this. And sooner or later, it's going to cost you something important. 